So ever since your woman left you, you've been missing her, you've been crying, you've been basically having a tough time getting over her. Well, in this video, I want to help you and I want to help you guys in general by telling you guys the four major reasons why men have a tough time getting over women. The first one is you've not just been with enough women. Most of you guys have only been with a handful of women. Probably this girl that you are thinking about, that you are crying over, is your first girlfriend, or even your second girlfriend, or even your third girlfriend. And this is why, to you, she means a lot. When you've dated multiple women, you've had like over seven girlfriends. Losing a, a woman is no big deal to you. Because obviously, you've been through this experience over and over again. I want to know about guys who have not really been with enough women is you guys tend to see women as special oh this girl was special to me oh she was special she was my missing rib simply because you liked her too much and also you've not experienced being with a lot of women by the time you have dated many women you begin to find out that there's nothing really special about any woman there's nothing really special about them they are just normal human beings like me and you so the simple solution to all this is date more women and trust me, with time, if you lose any woman in future, you wouldn't even care whether they left you or not. You simply move on with your life. The second reason is because you have the soulmate syndrome. Most of you men believe that, oh, there is a soulmate for me somewhere. There is nothing like soulmates. There is nothing like soulmates. All you have to do is find somebody who can tolerate you and, he, and who you can tolerate. But when it comes to soulmates, there is nothing like that. It is non-existent. If the soulmate syndrome was actually true, why do you think that people who married stayed for 14 years? At, at the end of the day, they will still divorce and still move on with their lives. That is to tell you that there is nothing like soulmates. Just find someone who can like you and who you like the way they are and live your life. If eventually in the future it doesn't work out, you guys will peacefully go your separate ways. But once you begin to have this mindset that there is this woman meant for me somewhere, and you finally get a girl who you believe is your soulmate, and then you lose her eventually, it's going to hurt you because you believe that this girl was your soulmate. Now, when you lose your soulmate, it's going to pain you, it's going to make you emotional because you believe already that that this girl was your soulmate so you try by all means to get her back because you strongly believe that this girl is your soulmate my advice to you now is there is nothing like a soulmate if you lose a girl move on there are so many girls out there and you don't have a soulmate you don't have a soulmate you can simply try your best to get someone that can like you and you like them and it's as simple as that but never believe or have this mindset that a girl was your soulmate, or you'll find your soulmate somewhere. No. No. It doesn't work that way. So, this is usually the second reason why most guys ha have a tough time moving on from a woman when they thought that this girl was their soulmate. The third one is you did not keep a replacement. This is why I always tell you guys to have options. When you have options as a man, if a girl leaves you, you won't even care. Because you already have a replacement. And the funny thing about this thing is, women will never leave a man without a replacement. So if a woman leaves you, most likely there's a 99% chance that she already has your replacement in weight. So when she leaves you, she immediately moves on with her life with her new boyfriend. Why you? Because you don't have a, a replacement for her. You don't have options. You are there lonely. You are crying. Because of course, you did not plan ahead. Women are smart, which is why they always plan ahead. They keep the guy somewhere so that in case you decide to mess up one day and they decide to leave you, they will immediately replace you with that guy. So as a guy, have replacement in place, especially when you know that this girl is not giving you what you want. That very soon, they are going to break up with her. Carry one girl and put as a replacement somewhere. And with time, if two of you break up, you easily continue from where you left with this new girl. And you move on. Life is good because she already has her own, own replacement. She moves on, you move, you move on. Not a girl will move on with her replacement, with your replacement rather. 
and then you'll be here lonely, crying. Because you have nobody to cuddle with you at night. You have nobody to do it at night with. All these things will make you depressed and of course make it even harder to move on from, from an ex. The fourth reason why men have a tough time moving on from a woman is when they invested heavily in that girl. Ha! This is the worst. A man who has spent his life savings trying to make a woman happy. A man who has sacrificed his own happiness for years. A man who has sacrificed his future just to make a woman happy. And then all of a sudden, that woman decides to leave him. Of course, he will have a tough time moving on from that woman. He will have a tough time forgetting that woman. He will have a tough time forget, forgetting all those sacrifices he made for that woman. All those investments he made. This is why as a man, learn not to invest in women who are not investing in you. Because the women that will find it very easy to leave you without even thinking about all your investments on them is women who have no investments on you. They have nothing to lose, of course. So they can easily move on from you. Why you who have invested heavily? You have everything to lose. So this is why you need to only invest in women who are investing in you. Else, if a girl you've invested heavily on decides to leave you tomorrow, you will cry. You will shed tears. You will shed blood. You will even be sick. Some of you may even take, may even die because of heartbreak. It happens. People take their lives because of heartbreak. These are serious issues. So as a man, this is why I make these videos. To help you guys understand women better. To help you guys know how to deal with women better. To help you guys know how to relate with women be better. To help you guys know how to date women better. Because it's the only way you understand women that you can date them better. And you can date them while also protecting yourself. You guys are out here investing in women who don't even give a damn about you. Who don't give you back even 10% of what you are giving to them. It's a pity. And of course, when this, thing, when this kind of things happen and a guy is depressed, a guy is, you know, heartbroken, you don't even know where to start helping him. Because are you helping him with his heartbreak or are you helping him to recover the investments he has made on this girl over the years? This is where you see men who have trained a girl in school only for that girl to later turn on them and tell them that they are no longer interested in marrying them. They will move on with a new guy who has basically done not, nothing for them. Why this guy who has sacrificed his money, his time, his emotions to put this girl through school, even start a business for her, is out here in the rain, lonely. Why this girl has moved on with her life, with her new boyfriend, or with her new husband. So never invest in women who are not invested in you. Else, you have yourself to blame.